So guys, you came here for a reason, and that is you want to know how to fix a track on a excavator that has, has started to torn. This is just a patch up job to get you through until you can get another track. Or you're just a normal subscriber, or you just uh, are like me and you just think the excavators are cool. So here you have an example of uh, where the excavator track had been uh, tearing in half, it ripped in half right here between the two cleats. And uh, so because it was open right there when it would come around the uh, end of the track here, or around the, um, what would I call that, the big pulley or the wheel on the side, on the inner side, um, because of this crack it'd want to come off track. So in, in uh, I had to come up with a way to patch up the track um, to be kind of a temporary fix until uh, a replacement can be uh, can be purchased. So this is what I came up with. Just um, right where the metal cleats is, these metal cleats are infused into the rubber track itself. And um, what happened is you just drill a hole just, just barely on the other side of those metal cleats that way these uh, cables will grab a hold and actually be around those metal cleats. That way they don't kind of tear a hole through the rubber. Uh, but they'll be just really close to those cleats where you grab it. And you just weave it in. And then when you weave it in on the bottom side, let me grab the camera here. As you see here on the bottom, you uh, what I did here is I made two loops and then used these... Uh, I'm not exactly sure what to call these. They maybe they're like U bolts for a cable. Um, I looped it, cabled it, and then with this side, I looped it and then pulled it tight. I actually used um, the bucket of the excavator to help pull this and singe it tight until I worked this nice and tight. And then bolt the does in. And by making this loop, it actually um, increases the strength of the hold of these bolts. Um, and then it, what it did is just, it was like a stitch up job. And uh, so far I've been driving around and it's been working beautifully. Um, this isn't a permanent solution, but this is something temporary that you can do just to make a fix to get a little bit more life out of your track while hopefully you're um, uh, ordering a new track because this one is pretty well spent. I already bought a uh, new track for the other side. You can see the difference here and the tracks. There's a new track and there's the torn up old track. So anyways, thanks for uh, checking out my channel.